Hey everybody, it's Dr. Rahimi here, and today we're going to talk about uh, simple interrupted suture. We're going to go in depth uh, with this video and talk about how we load the needle, how we do our wrist supination, um, and uh, how we do our instrument ties, and everything else here. You can see a uh, simple interrupted suture being placed, uh, and uh, once again we'll go over it in depth and just uh, watch this little sped up video here. Uh, I think it's a pretty good placement, looking pretty good, so let's begin. All right, let's begin with loading the needle. So when you load the needle, you're gonna be, for me, I'm holding the needle driver in my right hand, and I'm gonna clamp down on that needle. I'm not grabbing at the very distal tip of that needle. You see me pointing there, because that's where the needle meets the thread, and that's the weakest part of the needle. So you wanna grab about a third or more beyond that. All right, let's go ahead and get a close up here and show you exactly what it, how it looks a little bit more close up. There you go. All right, moving on to grab that tissue. Don't be shy. This is one thing I see my students uh, doing wrong quite often is uh, being just a little timid with that uh, uh, tissue forcep. Go ahead, grab it. You want to remember you want these the inside of the wound to be touching. You want the edges of the wound to be everted, not inverted. So if you're going to potentially invert that dead skin or dying skin at the end you're not going to do any good for your patient all right needle tip perpendicular to the skin very important when you're about to go in you see this picture here all right perpendicular the needle tip point perpendicular then you're going to supinate your wrist you see that great supination there and that's how you're going to take your first bite so let's go right into wrist supination so with the wrist supination this is very important so needle tip again perpendicular and then you see my wrist supinating right there. All right. And once again. Damn, I'm good. Before we get into the instrument tie, let's go over a knot security. Here's a uh, study I found in the Journal of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery about knot security and how it's affected by the suture technique, the material, the size, and the number of throws. So if you see here, suture material, Vicryl was the strongest, had the greatest knot security, uh, least with silk. Suture technique, the surgeon's not stronger and the best, and that's when you do two loops on your first throw. That makes it a surgeon's knot, not a square knot. And in general, in general, if you're doing a surgeon's knot, four throws were pretty good and solid and the suture size did not matter when it came to this. Okay, let's get back into the instrument tie. Here is a slow down video of how we're going to do it. So the needle drive goes right in the center, right in the middle between the two loops there. See the two threads? All right, surgeon's knot, one loop, two loops. You see that? That makes it a surgeon's knot grab and then you're going to go opposite ways with your hands and that's going to be your first throw remember we're doing three to four and as we saw the research four is the best so go ahead and tighten up a little bit you don't want to invert those edges remember you want to keep them everted so don't clamp down too much on that there we go that's your first throw second throw one loop and you grab the tail and you're going to pull through again hands crisscrossing how much of a tail you should leave well that's a great question uh well uh, usually about two inches two and a half inches is probably good for your beginners you can see this is my third throw here but you can see my tail is much shorter just because you know i've done thousands of these so you, know, you get kind of good but the concern always with a short tail is you might accidentally whoop, pull that suture right through and have to restart let's put it all together now here is a video again and uh, from beginning to end and let's watch it and have a good time <laughs> 